broken any specific stuff that you want to tell us? No, so just so individual stuff. I think I was clear that the focus for these two weeks was going to be on individual development. Even the stuff we did today was, you know, maybe you work on smaller groups, pairs, or a line of four, or, you know, you work on small things that you can because there are no real team tactics when you're missing half your team. But it's good to get guys back, good to get guys back in full training because I know Jade is going to ask me. So Jimmy, Nico, Raul, everybody back in full training. So good in that sense, but more just individual stuff. People are on different programs a little bit. You know, we still got a couple players that are dinged up a little bit. So we got to be mindful of that because there's two hard games coming up. But it's not like you've changed your whole philosophy in the last two weeks, right? So when no. the players come back, it's no. kind of like the no. strong defense no. play from the back and counter when you can. And we're going to be really good in our attacking movements in the final third and not just defend and counter. <laughs> you, you mentioned Nico. Is uh, today his, his first uh, full training? or He looked really good out there today. He was happy to be out there. Uh, Albert and uh, Christian, uh, both I just want to get an update how they're doing. Uh, Christian's up. with the national team. I mean, I'm sorry, Alex. I apologize. Alex and Albert, who stayed from international duty. They're today. fine. They're the ones I said in the last question. They're a little dinged up still. So they're in most of training, but we're still holding them back from certain things. We'll modify their training as the week goes just to make sure that they're fully recovered for the next two tough games. Do you have any early thoughts on Minnesota and what this new Minnesota can you know, provide and how can you yeah. contain them? Good team, very good team. Adrian Heath has done a good job there. You know Reynoso, he's a quality player. They've got a couple of other guys that have been playing well as of late. Um, you know, 4-2-3-1, Will Trap, Tyler. I mean, it's a good team. Defiance uh, played uh, Monarchs. Just wanted to get your take on what you saw out of that game. And Good result. Good result. As that league grows, they'll start to kind of figure out who they are, what they are. You know, I thought the game was a little one-sided. I think our guys were <coughs> pretty much overpowered them. Is that something that you break down or your team breaks down like later on? Wade and his staff do that, and then they give us reports. So I neglected to mention that Jordy Delem was in full training, pseudo full training, because he still has to get medical clearance by the doctors. And we'll start working on those contract details. So there's, um, because of the fact that you did switch formations, but you're kind of going back to the one that he was a part of, you still feel that... Jordy can play in different formations. He's not limited to one. But if he was, the, the lineup of things like, haven't changed as much. Like, you, you still feel that he would be a valuable We were going to look at him as a third center back in our, you know, 3-4, 2-1. Or he could play as a holding midfielder in 4-2-3-1. Yes, he can. He can do both. Going back to the attacking, what would you like to see more? More goals. And how would you like the to see The fans want to see more goals. Right. Well, off set pieces, off the run of play. Like Steph said, maybe a couple of Golossos from Albert and Nico. I mean, we want to see more. That sounds like ball distribution and, and, and scoring, or I should say getting certain players in different spaces, of whether the steps point, the long shots, or who he has coming in the middle. You think, look, Maz, to answer your question a little bit more seriously, I know where you're going with this. If you get Albert in the right spots, he's going to score. If you get Nico in the right spots and the ball at his feet, he's going to score. If you get the ball to Jordan Morris in the right spots, he's going to score. If we can get our team to understand individual strengths and weaknesses within our tactical system, we will score more goals. You have an opponent, 
that scouts you, that tries to eliminate some of those. So there's always that. It still is pro sports. It's not as easy as some people think. And sometimes you have to win ugly. Have you seen Minnesota's field? Have you watched any of their games? I mean, their field doesn't look great on TV because it's really cold there. So is the field going to be a factor? Is that going to be a game where you just got to gut it out? You know, different things dictate what you have to do to win games. So we'll try and work on all of them. How are you feeling about this team's ability to adjust to the diff sorry, to the different, like you just said, whether you're playing in a Champions League or whether you play? It's good. It's a veteran starting group. And even the young kids aren't afraid. No, I, I was kind of going that route. I just, you know, I wanted to know a lot of, not talk about anybody specifically, but sometimes coaches have a hard time uh, kind of changing things. It seems like you don't mind playing pragmatic if you have to through a certain game. Is that something that you developed into or you've always had? That you can well, common up? sense is not very common. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing on a field where it's muddy and heavy, like maybe in Matagua, you might play a little more direct. If you're playing on a nice surface, like Lumen Field, and there's a little bit of rain and the ball moves fast, we might play a little more possession. Uh, some will meet us here and some will meet us directly in Minnesota. The Americans will meet us in Minnesota. against uh, NYCFC next week. What would be your message to the fans who may not understand the true importance of the magnitude of, of this tournament and this opportunity? Well, I think you're underselling some of our fans. I think some of our fans, all of our fans know how important this game is. Now, look, you guys have heard me well, heard me well enough that the next game is the most important, Minnesota, but you mentioned it right there. It is a home match. Our next home match is a big one. It's a really big one. Because we want to do well in Champions League. We all know the importance of, you know, being the first MLS club. Okay, and even throw out the league, what's, what's best for our club? We've always been a winning club with a winning mentality. Getting enough people in the building to make sure the atmosphere is always as good as it is, that's the objective. Be a nice Wednesday night. Hopefully it'll be a little rainy, a little wet, a little slick. You know, ball moves fast. The game against Lyon, for even the uneducated fans, you know, that was a good game. That was fast tempo. New York City's a really good team. So even the casual fan might come on a Wednesday night and say, hey, that was a pretty, it's a pretty fast tempo game. So I would think that a lot of people, a lot of our fans are going to show up. Any other questions? Yeah, I got an off-team off question. You can't be Danny's. Oh, no, go ahead, Danny. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. No, the last one. Oh, the last one, here you go. Yeah, what do you think about Italy not making it to the World Cup? Well, <laughs> let's just keep our fingers crossed for Nuhu. He's got an uphill battle today. Let's keep our fingers crossed. How about that? I, I, nice. I want to ask you a little bit about Canada getting through. Kind of the process great the story. Hands. Canada is a great story. Well-deserved. Herding's done a great job on men's and women's. You know that story? Okay, that's a good story. He's, he's done a great job with Canada. They should be proud of the fact that they're in.